Hi everyone, my name is Rain and this is my husband Chano. We've been living in the wonderful country of Ireland for almost five years and we've visited many of the most spectacular places in the Emerald Island. In this video, we would like to share with you our top five small towns in Ireland, part two. Around two years ago, we made our first top five video, which has already got more than half a million views. Since then, we've traveled to many more beautiful towns in Ireland, so we feel that it's now time to make a part two. Welcome to our channel, Rain or Shine. Thank you for joining us. Kinsale is the first town on this list. It is located in County Cork, in the southern coast of Ireland. Kinsale is famous for its colorful streetscapes and rich history, fueled by great people, food, boutiques, and events. This vibrant coastal town has an energetic personality that will keep you entertained for sure. We amused ourselves by taking a stroll in the town's flamboyant streets. It was immensely entertaining to watch high-spirited, old but young at heart locals dancing together with kids in their small square. Visitors to Kinsale are captivated by its spectacular waterfront setting and medieval influences. For decades, Kinsale has attracted a plethora of talented artists and innovative entrepreneurs. Charles Fort is a star-shaped military fortress constructed by the English between 1677 and 1682 to protect the town and harbor of Kinsale. It was built after the defeat of the Irish earls and their Spanish allies in the Battle of Kinsale. This fact allowed the continuation of the policy of plantation in Northern Ireland and since then, England tightened its control over Ireland until the Irish independence in 1921. James Fort, built in 1607, is a pentagonal bastion fort. The fort offers wonderful views of the town, river, harbour and Charles Fort. The old head of Kinsale is one of the most impressive lighthouses in Ireland. Nowadays, the lighthouse is not open to the general public, since the area around it is home to one of the most spectacular world-class golf courses with its luxury members' accommodation. Westport is our second choice for this video, located in County Mayo in the western coast of Ireland. Westport was mainly designed by the 18th century architect Robert Wyatt, and is considered as one of the most beautiful towns along the wild Atlantic Way. We loved its colorful buildings and lively streets. There are plenty of cute little shops and so many food places too. Westport House is a 400-year-old historic house within 400 acres of unspoiled beauty. It is one of the few privately owned historic houses in Ireland. Luckily, its grounds are open to the public. The ticket price inside the mansion includes an interesting guided tour. Bertra Beach is located just outside Westport Town. This spectacular beach is in a fragile situation, so please read the signs and respect the dunes area when you visit. Climbing Cropatrick, the holiest mountain for Irish people, is one of the highlights in a trip to Westport. Cropatrick is a peak steeped in Irish history, religion, and mythology. Thousands of pilgrims still climb this mountain on the last Sunday of July, some of them even barefoot. The mountain has a height of 764 meters, but it offers a really intense hike due to the rocky terrain and constant steep inclination. Next on our list is Killaloe, located in the east of County Clare at the center of Ireland. The River Shannon separates Killaloe from its neighbor town, Ballina, which is also located in another county called Tipperary. 
These twin towns are joined by a 13-arch stone bridge. Killaloe was the capital of Ireland during the 11th century and the birthplace of Brian Boru. In its heritage center, you can learn about the interesting life of the last High King of Ireland. He was able to unite all the Irish to fight against the Vikings. Every Sunday morning, the farmer's market is one of the main attractions in Killaloe. Enjoy the nice variety of foods, fresh fruits and vegetables, or buy some beautiful craftworks. Don't miss the nearby Two Mile Gate Lakeside Park. Some of the best views of the immense Loch Derg can be witnessed from here. Next on our list is Inishtig. It is located in County Kilkenny in the southeast of Ireland. This picturesque town is situated on the River Nore, which is crossed by a 10 arch stone bridge. Inishtig may not be so famous as other towns in this video, but its beauty has made its scenery for several films. The traditional houses in Inishtig are beautifully decorated and the whole town has a calm atmosphere. Perhaps of all the buildings in Inishtig, the one that attracts the most attention if you visit the town in spring is a house with a facade covered by an incredible wisteria. This plant has been majestically pruned by the owner of the house for more than 20 years. Many of Inishtig lovely constructions were built during the 18th and 19th centuries, thanks to the influence of the Taig family of the Woodstock state. The Woodstock gardens are a must in a visit to Inishtig. The burning of Woodstock House in the 1900s brought a period of disrepair to the area, but in 1999, the county council started an ambitious program of restoration. Nowadays, this landmark includes different types of gardens and a collection of rare and exotic trees in the Arboretum. You can finish your visit to Inishtig with a tranquil hike in the woods and a stroll next to the river. Last but not the least is the historical town of Inniscorthy. It is located in County Wexford in the southeast of Ireland. One of the most famous sites in Enniscorthy is its medieval castle. The castle, originally built in the 13th century, has a long and important history. This fortress has been used by Norman soldiers, English armies, Irish rebels, and local merchant families. There are not many remains from the original interiors, but visiting the castle is a good way to learn about Enniscorthy history and the views from the top are really worth it. Nowadays, Enniscorthy is a charming town overlooking the river's lane, but in 1798, the nearby Vinegar Hill became the largest camp of the Irish rebels who were able to control County Wexford, resisting for an entire month against a much superior English army. St. Aidan's Cathedral is a neo-Gothic temple built in the 19th century. Its architect was the same who designed the famous Houses of Parliament in London. And is Corthys not far from the famous beaches of County Wexford? During our trip there, we visited also the coast of Court Town and enjoyed a guided tour to their Seal Rescue Center, where we could learn how they take care and reintroduce injured cute seals into their natural habitat again. That ends our Top 5 Towns in Ireland Part 2. I hope you enjoyed this video. We would like to thank everyone who gave us advice in our part 1 video. 
This list are always personal and we just want to share the beauty of Ireland with our viewers. Please share with us other towns that we haven't included in our two videos. We are looking forward to visiting more places in Ireland and hopefully we can do a part 3 small towns in the future. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so that we can keep creating more travel content. Until next time, keep exploring, rain or shine.